And back to our other top story. Falling ice is becoming very dangerous to drivers and pedestrians downtown. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us live from the Magnificent Mile near Michigan and Delaware with more on what's happening there. Hi, Mike. Hi, I'm on Delaware Place right now. I want to step out of the way and give you a sense of the scene right now. Delaware Place has had to be shut down between Mies van der Rohe Way to the east and Michigan Avenue to the west. That's because it became clear a short while ago that it was simply too dangerous to keep this street open. The old John Hancock building was raining ice this morning, causing people to run in and out of the skyscraper as if they were running for their lives. Giselle Castro was in her Jeep when this chunk of ice smashed through her back window. I'm in shock right now. I just started crying. She started crying because she realized what might have happened had the ice smashed through her sunroof or windshield instead. It just was a loud bang and I, I panicked and I moved from there, but so much ice was falling. I mean, if that went through my head, I would be dead. Castro had just dropped off her fiance at work. She was trying to give him a kiss goodbye, but Ricardo Camargo was urging her to rush out of the danger zone instead. I was just happy and blessed that she was okay. Nothing happened to her. And there's no question that a direct hit from one of the large pieces of ice could be lethal. That's why police were called in to cordon off the area, and shuttle bus coordinators are wearing hard hats to protect themselves. Camargo says something has to be done. I mean, it's going to get warmer this weekend where ice is going to melt. Bigger chunks are going to fall, so they got to figure something out, you know. It's, it's just not only for the vehicles, but safety of the people. And it's not just the buildings around the Mag Mile dealing with ice melt problems. Wacker Drive had to be shut down between Monroe and Washington due to all the falling ice there. Firefighters were called in as large sections of sidewalk needed to be cordoned off with caution tape. That is, icicles that have yet to fully melt cling to buildings precariously, since the mercury isn't forecast to fall below freezing anytime soon. And of course, the former John Hancock is one of the city's iconic skyscrapers known for those diagonal beams that you're looking at right now. And that, of course, and here we go. It looks like a lot more ice is about to fall. I wanted to be quiet so you get a sense of the racket and the real danger that this presents. I mean, that could be incredibly hazardous, possibly lethal if anyone was walking underneath it. So obviously the police made an excellent decision to cordon off this entire area. And there are a few people who get too close because they're curious. And the bottom line is it's way too dangerous to be at the foot of some of these buildings right now because as you can see, they are just dumping sheets and sheets of ice. And you just never know when the next sheet of ice is basically going to unleash from the building and come down to the sidewalk below. Reporting live in Streeterville, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Marissa, Aaron? Yeah, I'm glad you did that, Mike. Yeah, you put a real point on it. Thank you. Yeah.